And today we're going to work on our abs, but we're going to do the ab exercise standing. So you don't need a mat, all you need is you. So come on up, stand up, and let's do this exercise together. We're going to start with our feet out wide, and you're going to bend your knees a little bit, tuck your tailbone under to really engage your stomach. Hands on either side of your head, of your neck head. Open up your elbows and just tap your knees side to side. So if you can only go this range of motion, that's fine. If you can get your body all the way up and over, that's great. Keep the movement going and don't think of making it nice and short. Think of opening up nice and long, up and over, up and over. You have eight, seven, really pulling from your obliques for five, four, three, two, and one. You're going to pick your body up and start to crunch and curl in the center. So what I see a lot of people doing is only thinking about the knees pulling in, but it's actually, the movement is coming from the bottom of the rib cage and the top of the hip. So you're curling and crunching. You want to pretend like you're on a mat, like you're crunching into your knees. Curl and curl. You're rounding your back. You're curling. You're drawing the belly button in. You're flexing your spine. Now open up your legs a little bit wider and start to go side to side, side to side, side. Good. So opening up the knees. Elbows are still wide. Crunching in the side of your body. Let's hold it to the right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch it. Other leg up. Eight, Seven, nice job, six, up and over, five, four, three, let's do it again, other side crush, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more time, crunch into your side, elbow to knee, elbow to knee, four more, four, three, two, and back to center, curl it in. Your hands can go here, if it really helps you pull down, you can put your hands behind your neck. I love standing abs also because you don't really strain your neck. You're not pulling from your head. Everything is really coming from your core. For eight, seven, now reach it up, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna reach to your side. You're gonna twist, twist, twist. So reach and then twist to front. Twist to front, twist to front. Eight and seven, six, five, four, three. Now keep it to your side, but don't twist. Just pull round in, round in. Now my stabilizing leg right here is working also. I want your knee to be bent. Bend that left leg or right leg, whatever leg is down. For three, two, here we go, other side. Twist, twist, reach long, twist, and twist. Long arms, crunch your body. I should have not worn a tube top in this video. Crunch and crunch for five, twist four, three. Bend that supporting leg, two, and bring it center, crunch, crunch. You're getting a little cardio in there. Total ab workout, eight, seven, last six, curl your back, five, four, three, two, and back to center. Whew. Round it up, pull it in. Now just tap your knees to your elbows. So don't think here, you wanna think crunching, taking it down, rib cage slides to your hip bone. Now start to pull, 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 pull. For 10, nine, get it down, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. That was it. I would do that workout twice through. Not, not four times, just twice. Do that whole workout twice through. Your heart rate will get up. Your abs will start to feel the burn. Just remember when you're doing it, it's not about pulling your knees into your chest. It's about using your core, using your abs to round and pull. So every time you crunch, every time you curl, exhale, and try to pull and engage your belly and exhale. So when you do this exercise from the top, if you want to start even with nice curls and nice rounds, you really start to connect to that stomach. I'm out of breath. That was an awesome ab workout.
workout. Thank you so much for joining me and I will